actually even refer to myself as an entrepreneur because I'm really in such a kind of starting stage. I'm still working uh, full time at a patent law firm, um, but I'm considering um, getting more serious into this on the side. Um, so I'm just going to kind of tell a story of what happened because um, this is kind of an inspiration for if you're in a class, how that can kind of grow into a startup opportunity. Um, so I was doing, um, I did my bachelor's here in computer science, and I was in the senior project class, and I was lucky enough to get onto a team that um, ended up getting funding from Google. Um, Google offered us uh, a bunch of Android Nexus phones, just threw them at us, basically had no technical support, and said, well, we have this idea for uh, solving the problem of disasters um, and how people can communicate when there's an earthquake, tsunami, hurricane, um, and um, we want you to be able to create a network with no cellular network there. Um, so this problem had never been solved before. There was one group we found in Australia um, doing this thing called the Zerval Project, um, but they required the dropping of routers into the space uh, to solve the disaster problem. Um, so uh, we built a team. One person tackled the networking, one person tackled the data layer, one person tackled the UI. I was in the UI side, um, and we were actually able to, to uh, enable these phones to communicate in the absence of a cellular network. Uh, presented this project over in front of Wallenberg, um, and gained a ton of interest from, uh, there's a foundation called New America, which is really interested in this product because of uh, the capability it can lend to situations like, you know, in Saudi Arabia, when um, the totalitarian regime that shuts down the network, how can we enable uh, wireless communication? Um, so, after the project finished, um, we won some of the awards at that fair. We were granted the Apple Innovation Award. Um, Google came back to us and said, well, we want you to develop this further. Um, so they gave us this grant. So, that's why I told you I'm not exactly an entrepreneur here, but hopefully a budding one. Um, I also have a lot of experience in patent law. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm a patent engineer. Um, I work at a, a patent law firm that serves exclusively startups. Um, my boss just gave a funny talk at Brooklyn Startups the other day called uh, I think it's Coders Don't Know Jack About Patent Law. So if you have any questions about the importance of patents in, uh, in startups, um, there's kind of a divide I know amongst coders as to whether patents are completely useless and all people are anti-patents, um, let me know. Thanks.